This week, we've got announcements from Dynamat, Automobility, Powerbase, and Lucas Lighting. This is CMA Live All Access, presented by SiriusXM and sponsored by 5-Axis Innovation. And it starts now. Well, with one of the biggest events of the year happening next week, everybody's getting riled up for SEMA in Las Vegas. Now, someone said company is coming to the table with a huge plan, super inspirational and very motivated. We're talking about Dynamat. And we go now to their president, Michael Good, who's got a lot on the line for SEMA this year and a lot of surprises that we're going to learn about right here, right now. So, Mike, let's get this out of the way. What can dealers expect from a physical footprint from Dynamat if they're coming by the Dynamat booth? Hey, Ben. Good to see you today. Um, as always, great to connect with you. So, yeah, man, SEMA, uh, the, the countdown is on. The clock is ticking. Um, I would tell you, man, Central Hall, specifically Hot Rod Alley, that's where the Dynamat booth is. That's where it's been for over 30 years. Um, we're there. We'd love for these guys to come by. Uh, when they get to the booth, they're going to see, obviously, our whole Dynamat team uh, ready to engage with them and talk with them and share with them all that's going on at Dynamat. But they'll also see a couple works of art uh, from the folks over at Ken Diggett Design and from the guys at Finale Speed. Well, you've certainly got my interest, Mike. You're name dropping mega bombs here with Kindig and Finale Speed. Now, what from an experience, I know you guys are all about the experience. Give us a tease, you know, if you're if you are there any specific things to look forward to from an experience standpoint uh, for dealers? I, I would say one of the coolest experiences, something I'm really excited about is Wednesday. Um, show starts on Tuesday, goes Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but on Wednesday, uh, midday. Uh, we have Chris Jacobs with Finale Speed that's going to be in our booth doing autograph signings. And then immediately following Chris being there, we're going to have Dave, Dave Kindig uh, from Kindig at Design. Uh, he'll be there. And so you have arguably two of the, the most you know well-known names in the building uh, together um, at the Dynamat booth on Wednesday. So that's going to be really exciting. And then obviously there's lots going on to uh, come and talk with our team about our products and our markets and everything else. Well, I hope you guys are marking your calendar. That's Wednesday at the Dynamat booth. Now, you said something I definitely want to dig into a little bit more, Mike. Products, obviously, is why people come to SEMA. Can you give us a sneak peek of some of the spotlighted or highlighted products that we'll see uh, within the Dynamat booth? I sure can, Ben. So we're going to have uh, one of the products. Uh, it's kind of taken the market by storm this year. It's been, um, we, we knew it was going to do well, but it's kind of exceeded our expectations on the market acceptance of it. It's a, it's a new product called Dynacore. It's a fiber product, comes in one inch and half inch and, and uh, is really versatile. Um, we'd love to come and talk with the reps about that, have them stop by the booth. Um, obviously, we're doing a lot with custom kits. That's something that continues to evolve uh, based off of consumer demand. And, um, and then obviously, we have some other products uh, like the new Dynamat Square, the 18-inch squares that came out. Uh, and that was directly created specifically from the uh, feedback of installers wanting something that was a little more nimble. Uh, when they're doing the installs. So yeah, come on by. We'd love to talk about it. Now, not taking anything away from these superstar vehicles that you'll have within the Dynamat booth, but I've been a SEMA myself, and man, there is works of art everywhere throughout the show. And I know for a fact, a lot of those pieces of art have Dynamat, you know, in them. So what are we going to do or what plan do you have, Mike, to kind of share that Dynamat love that's being spread all throughout the show over the weekend? So that's a really exciting topic right there. Um, we've identified um, a, a pretty good high number of the cars at the show that are dynamated. Um, I know we don't have them all. Uh, we are going to be going out and doing interviews. Uh, so you're talking about companies like the Ring Brothers, you know, people that are, are pretty well known at the top of the game um, in our industry. Uh, we're going to be go doing interviews with these guys and um, kind of sharing some photos and videos of, of all of the dynamated cars all around uh, the SEMA floor. So, um, yeah, definitely stay tuned. There's going to be a lot going on on the social front and the digital front uh, with Dynamat over the next several weeks. Well, Mr. Good, why don't you wrap it up for us? I know you're about to pack up and head over to Vegas, but for those that aren't there or for those that are there, what message do you have for them? Come by the booth and dot, dot, dot. Definitely come by the booth. Uh, love to meet you guys. We're, we're, this is an international company. We work with folks from all over the globe. And, um, you know, a lot of the relationships that we have established and nurtured over the years, they all started by somebody seeking us out at SEMA or us running into somebody while we were at SEMA. 
And I think it's a great place to network and establish new relationships and obviously further the existing relationships. So uh, come on by. We'd love to chat with you. And uh, I wish everyone safe travels uh, to Vegas. And if you can't make it to SEMA, definitely follow online. Uh, there will be a lot to see. Hi, Jody from Five Access here. Just want to bring everybody up to speed with what we do and how we do it. We're a display company. We do a lot of custom graphics. Obviously, we do custom audio boards. We do RGB lighting. We do graphical work up top. We also do all the different custom amp mounts. So for all your store needs, we do front counters, we do home audio sections, we do lighting, everything that you're looking for, give us a call. Again, it's 5Axis, 414-326-7162. We go now to Powerbase, the brand known for such amazing value in every category. But believe it or not, there's yet a new category for Powerbase to get into. And it starts with the introduction and unveiling of a brand new DSP unit being unveiled at SEMA. The unit is the PBX DSP-8. And we go now to Eric Harbour, the Vice President of Powerbase, to tell us more. You're absolutely right, Ben. We have a brand new product in the PBX DSP-8. It's our first time doing DSP, so we tried to make sure everything was great before we brought it out at the SEMA show. This year at the SEMA show, you can see it in use in the Impala in our booth. With the Impala packed with tons of power base speakers and amplifiers, we're controlling everything by the PBX DSP-8. It's an amazing unit. It's eight in, eight out, high level and low level. Both harnesses are included. It's basically a 31 band equalization user adjustable so we can adjust all of the frequencies we can adjust the cue we can also adjust the slope we can make tons of adjustments and improvement to the sound we've also got remote in delay we've also got a lot of other features as far as time alignment crossovers and everything you could ever want in a dsp in a very small unit that's amazing to use and very simple for all of the users to set up their audio systems with different profiles so the really cool feature is you can start to save profiles if you do a car a lot and you say, hey, I'm always doing this Ford or this Chevy or whatever it is, you can save that profile and then automatically go back in and upload that profile the next time you're using a DSP-8. So now it's saving time while you're doing the installations because you're saving profiles. You can also share these profiles with others in case you've got a different tune that you think works a little bit better in a car. The cool thing with the DSP is that you can always make the sound exactly how you want it. You can start to do time alignment to bring that mid up and get that tweeter and that mid up on the dash and push them farther out. So we're making that concert sound right there on the dash. We can do everything we need to do and adjust all frequencies with the DSP. It's a highly recommended piece and it's something that we've been super excited to bring to the market. Now, the other thing is people say, well, Eric, you've got an eight in and eight out. You've got eight channels, but you don't really do a lot of multi-channel amplifiers. Well, We've got something else coming in our next session. We're going to talk about that later on in our new PBX series amplifiers, where we're going to bring out a six channel amp to work with this DSP. So now we're going to have the total solution for high end and super high fidelity audio coming from Powerbase. You know, if I know Powerbase and, you know, we've, we've done a couple of these in the past, uh, you guys put a lot of thought into it. So I'm going to challenge you, Eric, on a couple of design features here. We, we, I love the specs, the eight channels and all the e equalization. It seems like it's a very small footprint, which is also great. But let's talk about interface, because really at the end, it's all about not only the user, but also the tuner's interface. So talk to us a little bit about how the interface works, what's the platform, and what are some of the features? Yeah, you're right, Ben. Getting into the features and the interface is very important with a DSP. We could have gone the easy route and made this a very simple 8-band EQ, or maybe 16, but... You know, here at Powerbase, we tend to just do things the harder way. And so we decided to do a 31 band EQ in our DSP. We've given the user every possible option for a really pro feeling of tuning their audio system. The interface we've worked with multiple times, done a lot of updates, trying to make sure that it was still user friendly, but enabled all of the settings that someone would really want from a pro level standpoint to really dial in their sound. So after a lot of time and a lot of changes, and a lot of updates, we've come up with a new application for the DSP-8. So all of your tuning will be done via iPhone or Android. And you also do it on tablets as well. So any app-based device can access this via the Play Stores and the iOS Store and download the PBX DSP-8. 
And I tell you what, let me dive in and let me show you how cool it is. Here we are, Ben, in the PBX DSP8 app, available on the App Store and Google Play. Now, the Android version is still in a little bit of development, but the Apple version is ready to go now, so you could actually hop over and download it and check it out yourself. So let's jump right into it. So coming out of the home screen, you're going to come right into what you really need to do in the beginning, and that's input selection. So we've made it a little simple for you. There's two channel, or you can easily hit six channel, and it's all automatically going to set up your six channel input. Now let's say, hey, I'm, I'm going all the way. I got eight channels of input. You can start to do that in your custom settings. Now, because we do business across the pond as well, we've changed this up too. So you can do a left driver or a right driver. So you really can set up the car to see exactly how it's going to be and where the speaker locations are. And of course, motorcycle audio has been crazy these days and people are using DSPs as well for that. So we've got the motorcycle settings. We've also got the UTV settings. Then something you can adjust here in the front is going to be a remote out delay. So you can delay that remote turn on so that that way you can get a nice clean turn on from everything if you need to add a little bit of delay. So jumping into the main menus, we're going to go up to the top right corner. We're going to push that button and it's going to drop down everything we can do. So you can see we can sum, which is where we started. We can do our crossover settings, our delays, our gain, and of course our EQ. If I hop into the crossover, you're going to see, and let me put this back to car because, well, most everyone's going to be using a car, right? Well, some. So let's put that back on a car. And then I'm going to jump into crossover. And you're going to see there's some options here. So I can do a high pass frequency. I can do a low pass frequency. I can bypass all of this if that's what I choose to do. Uh, but if I want to do this and I say I want to put in a frequency, I can just tap that frequency in, right? <clears throat> nice and simple. I don't have to worry about finding it. But I can also move this as well if I want by pushing the positive and negative. Or I can put my finger on the dial and bring that over as well. But when you really want to fine tune that frequency into exactly where you want it, <clears throat> you would just open it up, type it in, you're good to go. Now, the cool thing is you can then activate the other side and you can start to set this up as a band pass. So if I want to do that and I want to do a band pass and I want to drop some frequency out, <clears throat> I can do that as well. And I can make things just really crazy. I can do anything I want to do here. Um, and it's really neat because I can set this up for band pass, low pass, or high pass, and I can do this per channel. Now, you also say, hey, you know what? My tweeters, I'm, I'm got, I want them to be the same no matter what, and I'm just throwing in some frequencies here, guys. So we get into a training later, but we can adjust our slopes as well, 6, 12, 24, 36, all the way up to 48. But now if I want my tweeters to group together, I can push this button here, channel 1 and channel 2, I'm trying not to hit that. There we go. And now I'm going to tell it the benchmark channel is channel one. So now I've got channel one and channel two linked together. So now I make one adjustment and it's going to adjust both of those at that point. Um, <clears throat> so that's our crossover section. When we jump into delay, we can look at delays for all of the channels. So this is where we start to get into our time alignment. We can change that from milliseconds to centimeters uh, and inches all by just pushing the measurement on the screen. We can then change that by rolling up and down or using the plus and minus. You activate the channels by just selecting them. You'll see they highlight, they highlight in the center. They also highlight on the channel. And this is where you can start to work on your time alignment. Time alignment is great. Uh, one of the best ways to do this, I like to start and with the subs out and just work on bringing those mids up to match that tweeter and then work on pushing it out a little bit on the dash. And if you get time alignment right, things just sound amazing. So let's keep on going. I can jump into my gains and now that I can start to adjust the gains per channel. So now I can start to adjust every channel I want, but I can also link channels together so that I make one adjustment for all of them. You'll see right in the center, there's going to be a master volume control. Uh, I can mute everything right there from the center. I can also mute channels so that you can start to work on each channel's tuning without having everything playing. You can mute them right here and then come back to the screen when you want to make them active again. Now the fun part, we're gonna get into the EQ. Now here's where we really start to dive into this and we really start to set things up. So you're gonna see that you've got your bands here, right there on the left center, and there's gonna be arrows down at the bottom. So you'll see that you'll hit those arrows and you're gonna go over to the next set. And you'll go over to the next set and you'll keep on going. And you'll go all the way across our 31 bands of equalization. But let's say you just don't like 80 hertz and you say, you know what, it's okay, but I'd rather it be something different. You can pop in there and you can 
easily adjust that and let's say make it 85. So now you're in control of the actual frequency that you're adjusting in your equalization. You can easily move that up and down. Uh, and you can also just type that number in at the bottom as well. You can adjust your Q setting uh, and you could do this per channel or again, you could go into channel grouping and tell it that one channel is going to be your benchmark and it's going to uh, link channel one, channel two, channel three, four, however you're going to do your groupings so that you're only having to adjust one and it's equaling both of them. Uh, that makes tuning a little bit easier when you know that the pair is going to be the same. And that is the app for the PBX DSP-8. There's going to be a lot of updates. There's going to be things coming down the line as people use it. I want to show you something neat that I think I can show you. I don't know that I have it um, in here, but so you'll see this screen here. You're going to save your tunes here, uh, save your basic settings or your advanced settings, and you can upload here. So if you have a car that you're doing a lot and you're used to it and you say, hey, I, this just works every time, you can start to just upload it right into here and be set up and ready to go in no time. So we tried to make things easy, and this is the PBX DSP-8, the most advanced DSP and the very first DSP from Powerbase. Well, Eric, first impressions is very slick, nice custom design and interface on that app. Really looking forward to a deeper dive on all those features. Um, but, you know, for, at first glance, I think dealers are going to find that super simple to use. And I believe that's probably the, the point behind the design. Now, real quick, before I let you go, obviously, Powerbase has a great presence at SEMA coming up this week. Why well, don't I give you an opportunity to tell people what they can expect when they come by the Powerbase booth and where they can find you. You're absolutely right, Ben. We wanted the app to be user friendly, but we also wanted to keep all the amazing features in there so that you could get a really great tune using the PBX DSP-8. Now, if you want to see it in action, you can, and you're headed to the SEMA show, you can stop by and see us in the North Hall, booth number 10352, and we'll be there using the DSP live in the booth in the Impala. You can see all the setups and how it works, and we'll be glad to walk you through the apps as well so you can get your first hands-on experience with the PBX DSP-8. Hey guys, Ricky Lima here from Series 6M. I had a chance to speak to some dealers and ask them what they love about selling Series 6M. Here's what they had to say. Coast to coast coverage. I love Series XM for commercial free music. It's a great add on sale and a profit opportunity. We love selling Series XM because you can listen to the same channel coast to coast. Profitability and ease of installation. It's a no-brainer. We love selling Sirius XM for its ease of installation, great profitability, and its reliability. People love it. I, for one, hate to be the bearer of bad news, but yes, daylight savings is upon us. And before you know it, it's going to be dark on your drive home. But rejoice, because this means it's lighting season. This is a time of year where retailers can take advantage of the need to see in the night. So joining us now, we go to Lucas Lighting and their VP of Sales, Steve Rogers. Steve, this is an amazing time for retailers to capitalize on the lighting category. What advice do you have for dealers to really capitalize on really something that is inevitable? Hey, Ben, you're right. Welcome to lighting season. So we certainly sell lights all year long, but this is when it's on everybody's mind. When you're driving to and from work in the dark, uh, that's the time you really are thinking about your lights. So I just wanted to share a few things uh, with the dealers that that are maybe new to the line and maybe new to the category, uh, what some of the secrets of success are with, with selling lighting. So it's funny because I, I even here in the US, I have some dealers that they sell maybe five or six sets of headlight bulbs a month. And then I have other dealers that maybe sell 50 or 60 sets of headlight bulbs a month. So what's the difference between these two dealers? Well, the, the, uh, the dealers that are really killing it they're the guys that are actively selling the category. So some shops, and maybe you do or don't do this, but uh, some shops use a check-in sheet. So if the car is there for other work, when they're taking a look at it, you know, putting down any uh, potential damage to the car or things of note, they also put in on a little spot what headlight uh, style it has and how long they think the installation would potentially take. So they're looking at the headlights when they pull them in to see if they're halogens or what they are. And uh, they're just basically, when they go back to the customer, say, we've got your car checked in, 
everything's looking good. We're ready to go to work on it. But, you know, we did notice you have those old dingy yellow headlights. You ever have trouble seeing at night? Well, here's the thing. We know that people have trouble seeing at night. Um, IIHS, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, has been the biggest advocate for headlight safety uh, in North America. I, I would invite you to check out their website. Uh, so in 2016, they had noticed that the headlights on cars were performing so badly, they started actually testing them and rating them. And they give them ratings of either uh, good, uh, marginal, or poor. And I'm going to go ahead and share a slide with you here that, that we use in our trainings. So as you can see, this is the 2020 uh, rating. So less than 5% of 2020 models have good headlights. That's courtesy of IAHS. And that's a terrible number because in 2020, they tested 156 models of cars, and that means only six of them tested good. That's awful. That means 150 of the models could use some headlight help. But this is good news for you as a retailer because when you ask that question, do you ever have trouble seeing at night? We know a lot of times the answer is going to be yes. So as a safety product, the IHS also estimates that if cars had good headlights, 30 to 35 percent of the nighttime accidents could be avoided. So again, we talk a lot about being able to put more light on the road, further down the road, and see the danger in time to be able to avoid it. So how does this relate to sales? Again, ask your customers if they've had trouble, and then simply tell them. If it's an easy car, if you're working on a Toyota or something that's very easy access, and you know that's maybe a 10-minute job, you've probably got enough time in the bay uh, that you could actually do the headlight for them at the same time. That'll be up to your discretion. And that's why on our bolt finder, we're adding all of the uh, difficulty levels to the car so you can better gauge the amount of time that will be needed. But anyway, so often what you can do is add a headlight sale uh, and add uh, profitability to your business, add more safety for your customer. Uh, and what's funny is, is when guys do this, they start to see a pattern of customers coming back and actually thanking them for selling them head, the headlights. The, uh, <laughs> that's a great side benefit. And the other thing that happens is they'll bring in a family member because they see how much better it is. And they're like, wow, my mother needs that or my, my daughter needs that, my wife needs that. So it leads to additional sales. Uh, once you've done uh, typically the, the uh, low beam headlight, Oftentimes they'll come back and go, you know, can you do my high beams as well? And, uh, or my fog lights, that kind of thing. So I know that uh, it sounds like a lofty goal to be selling 50 or 60 sets of headlight uh, products per month, but it is being done. There are guys who are doing it. And if you make that commitment, you can have that kind of success. Now, Steve, I think that's some incredible advice and some information that you shared with us for dealers to kind of digest and see that there is a path to um, more sales and expansion of their business in this category. And one thing I want to bring up now, you know, as they're doing this inspection and they're noting the type of headlight and um, the time it would take to install, there is another scenario which, you know, is really relevant right now because there are a lot of vehicles on the street that are running factory xenon headlights. Well, don't be scared because there is an LED solution from Lucas uh, for that scenario as well. I'll let Steve explain. Yeah, you're right, Ben. So you're going to see only three types of headlights that, that will come into your shop, right? So either they're the traditional halogens that we talk so much about. Uh, they're going to be HID, which is high intensity discharge, uh, or they'll be factory LED. So the solution for uh, HID, and those have been around since the 90s, so there are plenty of systems that have got some age on them now, uh, is going to be our H2L kit. So the H2L stands for HID to LED. Uh, and sometimes people, if they're not familiar with it, they look at this bulb and say, wow, that thing's huge. But it is the exact size of the original bulb that you're going to remove from the car because often they're held in with a with a uh, balen or a clip, that kind of thing. And we don't want to make the install any harder than necessary. But this is exactly the same size with exactly the same clip. And by putting this in, they'll have more electrical efficiency. So a xenon bulb draws quite a bit of power. Uh, and this will draw quite a bit less as LED always does. Uh, but this is about two times and depends on the series. So like a D1 was a fairly weak bulb uh, from the factory, D2, D3, D4, D5. We have replacements for every one of those styles, whether they be, uh, uh, mostly they'll be a projector, but they do exist potentially as a reflector as well. Um, but 
this goes in every time it works off of the factory ballast so you want to make sure that you have a working ballast in the system if the ballast is no good uh, then I have an option in our L2 and L3 series to bypass the ballast but this will work off of the original either 42 or 85 volt systems in the car and again get all of the great benefits of LED get better output more down the light road and surprisingly still even in a projector better side to side coverage great series great solution now finally steve obviously huge event coming up this week sema and apex for that matter going down in las vegas want to give you the opportunity to tell dealers what they can expect when they come by the lucas lighting booth at this amazing event hey ben you know my favorite show of the year is sema it's the greatest car show in the world you'll see things that you've never seen anywhere else there uh, so we're displaying there for the first time. I've been to the show probably 20 times, but this will be our first time having a booth. We'll actually be at both Apex and SEMA. We're at SEMA and booth 59255 in the West Hall. We'll be showing you our new display uh, for the show, which is also the one we're basing our new retail and distributed account display on. So check it out. It'll be really cool and will help you sell more lights in your store. So everybody come and see us at SEMA. We're, we're going to be happy to see you. C Outlook is dedicated to keeping the car audio and electronics industry informed on the latest issues, trends, and product releases. New feature stories posted daily. Visit cloutlook.com for the latest industry news. Well, it looks like the team at Automobility is up to no good, and by no good, I mean, an amazing opportunity, a unique one, in fact, bringing dealers across the border to a unique event known as MasterTech. We go now to Automobility, both Phil Cameron and Steve Colomb standing by to tell us what the announcement is on this new program. Hey, Ben, thanks for having us today. Uh, huge announcement. We're very excited. My Automobile is doing MasterTech for next year, 2024. Uh, we're bringing dealers down. Um, also, uh, unique visit at the Rockford Fosgate headquarters uh, while we're there, right? We're in, right in their backyard. Yep. So we attended uh, MasterTech this year and we saw, uh, you know, the, the high level of, of trainings, industries, experts, uh, and we saw definitely a value for Canadian dealers to go down there and increase their level of fabrication, uh, trainings, uh, talking to the peers in the industry, you know. Uh, we met so many awesome people last year, uh, you know, this place is filled with industry experts and just the networking event was uh, amazing. Well, no doubt, Stephen, I couldn't agree with you more. I was there myself and it was an absolute amazing opportunity for networking and also for higher level learning when it comes to fabrication. Now, Phil, tell us a little bit more about the details um, about what this opportunity for our Canadian dealers and Automob customers are actually going to be like. I think Steve summarized it a bit, but on the technical side, what I saw last time we were there is that it's a very different kind of event. It's more hands-on, more learning skills and technique that you see online all the time. The best example is all social media. I see all the crazy builds and installation that some of our neighbors from the South do. And I always look at what they do because, oh, man, that looks amazing. I wonder how they do that. And then you see guys going into the newer trends, the cutting end technology like CNC router, laser, 3D printing and stuff like that. And you think, oh, I wish I could do stuff like that. It looks so complicated. So my best takeaway from that is they actually teach you classes and you can talk to other guys, the guys that you see in all those social uh, posts, like all their builds, you can ask them questions. They'll show you how to use those, those tools. And maybe you'll see that, you know what, it's not so much complicated. Maybe we could use some of that in our shop back home. So it is an amazing value just for the hands-on portion. And you are able to talk to all of those superstars that you see all the time in social media and all that stuff. So if you're not familiar with MasterTech, uh, it is a very unique opportunity to go there and learn from all the best uh, of the best in this industry, see all the, the newer techniques. And if you've been seeing all the advertisement for MasterTech and you go, oh, that looks complicated to go. I don't know if I can pull it off. Well, think no further. 
us at Automobility will make your life easier. We'll accommodate most of everything that you need. All the hard part to, to schedule will be there. And you can benefit from going there by doing just what you're doing already. So talk to it, your rep and uh, get all the details from, from him. And uh, hope we see you there. Well, this is certainly a very unique and exciting opportunity for Canadian dealers to get involved. But let's take it one step further. And I thought it'd be a good idea if we reached out to some retailers and installers that have been to this type of events. Not only have they been there to experience it firsthand, but they're also involved in some of the activities that are going on. Who am I speaking about? Well, we're going to go to our boys from Five Star Car Stereo, Mr. Dean and Fernando, to get their insight on this opportunity. Now, I'll start with you, Fernando. Picture yourself. You're a, you're an installer. You've been doing this some time. You've heard about an event like Master Tech. You've seen the images. What can they expect to be blown away by the first time going to Master Tech? All right, Ben. Um, I think it's amazing to go to this event because what are you going to see in this type of event is not like the other ones, uh, more hands-on like they were talking about, but also talk to the guys that they have so many experience and get those perspectives, um, get the techniques, talk to them and see how they doing so you can be better on, on your shop. You know, everything that Fernando said there is what I hear time and time again for all uh, participants of the show. But if you had to take it away, what would be some of the big takeaways that dealers can expect to experience uh, from your perspective, Dean? So there's nine tracks, Ben, of education available to anybody that wants to go. And you get to pick two of them. Plus now, this is, this is a first, you get Sunday uh, we haven't done that in the past. We're going to have Sunday education because everyone gets there to go to the big Sunday party. We don't save the party for the end. We save the, you know, we eat our dessert first. We have a big party. Everyone gets to socialize. And like you said, everyone keeps talking about the hands-on and the learning. And, and the thing is, is Brian brings in, I'm going to call him A-list talent. So all the, all the top guys that you've like, man, I wish I could meet a Tom Miller. I wish I could meet a Gary. I wish I could meet a Maddie. And, and just, you know, to, to just to name three, there's tons of guys there. Yes. He brings in an all-star staff to teach these classes. So you've seen their work. Now you get to learn from them, which is just incredible. It's, it's an amazing experience. You know, I have to point out, and maybe you guys are being humble about this, but some of the best moments for me at that event was some of the activities and the challenges that were going on. Of course, there's the one on the main stage with the build-off challenge, which is absolutely mind-blowing to see what these guys can do in such a short time frame. But, hey, man, I got to say, that wiring challenge, the clean wire challenge, was something else, and I'd love for you to speak to that and what we can expect on that one this year. That's right, Ben, the clean wire challenge. This was dropped in our laps by Brian last year. He said, yeah. just out of the blue, he's like, hey, we're going to do a clean wire challenge. We got the build off. Mark does that. And everyone loves Mark up on the stage, getting involved, talking to everyone. Got that big one. He's like, we like outside. There was It was such a beautiful day. So he's like, let's do something outside. We work with Auto Mobility to bring two Canadians to the event. So along with this, so along with this, Two of you guys are going to get to compete in the wire challenge. That's right. We, we hold two spots open for you. We have a ton of different sponsors. You get to bring home your own equipment. So what you build, you bring home. It's pretty amazing. And yeah, it is a lot of fun, Ben, because, well, they give me a microphone and it's got flashy lights. I, it's, and there's, there's free stuff to give away. Right. Another thing, too, that's really cool that a lot of people didn't know about last year was the, the, was the LED challenge, the light off. Yes. Anybody can enter the light off. All you have to do is go register for it. And you bring it with you. It's just got to plug into 12 volts. So anyone can compete in that. There's no prerequisite other than the little tiny information. They say you got to do this. So if you're a, if you're a light guy, mm, definitely want to bring something to the show. For sure. Now we can sit here and talk about all the amazing things that are going on at the Master Tech Expo show itself. But I did read that there's an actual bonus adventure included in this package, and that is a trip to the Rockford Fosgate facility. Now, I happen to follow social media, and i seen you two guys were there recently. So what can dealers expect from this trip? I think that trip is, is just like the cherry on top. You know, be able, be able to go and see the facility and see all the technology from start to finish. It, it's amazing for me. That's just the cherry on top for sure. 
Yeah, I mean, we spent a week there, uh, what, a year ago? Yeah. Or maybe a year and a half ago. We were just there a week ago. It's always amazing going in there, and there's just so much to see. Uh, the install bay, every, everything is there, and it's just it's just amazing to be able to go through all the little rooms and guys and just and by guys, I mean all of them. It's just amazing. It's, it's just a purpose bill. It is purpose bill. There you go. All right. Thank you to Fernando and Dean for coming on and answering some questions and giving us a little bit of insight as to what this trip is all about. Going back to the boys at Automobility now, what final message uh, do you have for the dealers and how do they get involved? Well, Ben, to sum it up, pretty much uh, very exciting news. Uh, as you heard it, um, you, all you have to do is reach out to your sales rep. Uh, they have all the information you guys need to on how to attend that unique, uh, you know, opportunity. And, uh, you know. It, it's, it's super simple. So talk to your rep. It'll give you all the details. It'll explain exactly what is included in that trip. And you get the chance to come and hang out with us over there. Come hang out with Dean and Fernando from Five Stars. I'm sure you've been watching their videos on the YouTube all the time. And you get to learn from the best in the, in the industry. And the only thing you have to do is talk to your rep and do what you've been doing for the past year or two is just buy a product, support it. And that's it. Super simple. Just reach out to your rep. I'll explain all the details and how to qualify. And it's not something that's so, so crazy. It's it's very reachable for the average shop. So please don't miss this opportunity. It is a great opportunity. And that trip to uh, Rockford Fosgate facility is something I heard. It's going to be my first time this season. Looking forward for that. Mark your calendar. CMA Expo is returning in 2024 to the Toronto Congress Centre on April 5th, 6th and 7th. A huge thank you to all the Canadian dealers who attended and made the inaugural event such an amazing success. You spoke and we listened. Thanks to your feedback, we've implemented some important changes to enhance your experience even further. Confirmed exhibitors for the 2024 CMA Expo are Automobility Importel Trends Electronics, Gemsen Distribution, JVC Kenwood, Gentech International, Pioneer, Dix Performance, Sirius XM, Ericsson Consumer, Metra, Amp Global, Fortin. Stay tuned for the early bird registration slated for October 5th. For more information and the latest updates, follow us on social or visit cmaexpo.ca. Keep it locked on cmanetworks.com as we broadcast fresh content daily with new videos dropping Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern. This is CMA Live All Access brought to you by SiriusXM and presented by 5-Axis Innovations. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. There's never been a better time to have Sirius XM with over 150 channels in your vehicle. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM video on demand. What you love is on now.